Welcome to Infinite Forbidden Day One. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more Oz content. Hey, comment down below. Wouldn't you be walking away with a booster pack? Oh my gosh. Welcome to day one. These uh, these fall down movements have been very interesting here. Engravers are still holding at 270, which honestly, pretty good. I, I'm, I'm happy to see that this is kind of falling down. Uh, Perulia's 170s. Hmm. Interesting. Tracked coming down to 98. Uh, we got some interesting movements here with the uh, Stellar at 90 on up to 120. Engravers are currently at 92s. Uh, I am kind of expecting these kind of reverse course here as the day goes on. We'll probably see these start to head back up. Uh, especially, you know, after, if, if this card is really as successful as it, it appears to be for the WCQ season, um, you are going to see that card explode very, very heavily on your secondary. Genroku's down to 86s. That's interesting. Uh, his set's coming in at 80s, and then the Diabelles, 65s, and then, of course, Roselia's at 65s. We also appear that Requiem's are 83s right now for the one-ofs. That's very interesting, but I mean, this card looks fantastic looking at this. Like, genuinely, that's awesome to see. So your first in the QCR is an engraver, are what you kind of expected. Boxes, um, hmm, we're down to 74 per box. That's kind of crazy to think about out here. I do think that we will see a resurgence of this back up. Dominus Purges sitting at 52s right now. Okay, sure. We've also got the Dark Magician sitting at 65 for the QCR. The Dragon of Pride and Soul, 65. Light and Darkness Dragon Lord, 52. And then Tales of the White Woods at 55. Silvera coming in at 56. Silo Hatta here at a nice $50. Very nice QCR, by the way. Exodia, the Unstoppable Incarnate, 36. Okay. The Millennium Long is a $32 card. LOL. Okay. Sure. We'll take that. Uh, what else we got cooking back here? Ah, oh, Mimigool Man. 39. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the Dungeon coming in at 34. All right. Perulias are down to 30s. I think if this card does continue to go down, the community is going to destroy this card off of the market. Uh, the Millennium Shield is a $26 card. The Wenju Temple is a $22 card? Ah, uh, oh man, the Disa, Disa Blaster, $22. Uh, the Sengenjin, nice $22 QCR. There's some dog water QCRs in here. And then, hey, we got some movements back here on uh, Astellar. Nice $20, heading on up to $22. Uh, Solo Had a Trick is a $19 card. You know, if this QCR does hit relatively low, I don't have an issue with wanting to pick these up to have them. You know, like, it, it's a one-of anyway, so that's fine. Tracked is also only $13. That's very interesting to see. Well, when your searcher is uh, a little bit more limited than most, understandable. Uh, wow, a set here is a $10 card. Okay. The Onk is nine, ten bucks. Uh, the Rabbit, this is what I was talking about. This is why I don't feel bad about this. Uh, the, ha the Rabbit is an $8 Seeker Rare, so this is not a terrible pickup whatsoever. Again, Roku's are 8 bucks. This card is officially cheaper than Pydra, and Pydra's are still like 12 bucks. Dominus Purge is down to $7. I'm just saying, man, if, if this card's going to go down lower, uh, you've already got 70 listings of these. People are buying these up as we're speaking. Um, and if that's a pretty clear indicator of value to be had back here. Yeah, look, look at these. People are like, oh, we'll spend the $7 and wipe play sets off of the market. Yeah, that's all just within the last, like, two hours. So that's crazy to see that Purge is already getting wiped. But it was in, within the realm of expectations I expected. Uh, Mimigool Masters. So the people that want to pick this deck up, 5 bucks for these. Requiems are also fives. The Dungeons, $354. Single Packs, nice, 4 bucks for these. Interesting to see the uh, the challenge of value on that, but hey, that's fine. Your Dark Magician is a three dollar card. The Tears of the White Forest are three bucks. 
All right, Unstoppable Exodia three. Senkinshin is a dollar. Poor guy. Your shield also coming in at a dollar, and Lightning Darkness Dragon Lord at a dollar. Wow. Also, Wedju is extremely cheap, and of course, Silhat Hat Track here coming in at fifty cents. It's kind of hilarious. Thank you, Ultra Rares, for you know not having the greatest amount of value in this set, but you know something to be had. Oh yeah, the Monster Reborn in this set has a little bit of value. Yeah, I can see your uh, your back end of things here getting really, really cheap. Is there anything back here that doesn't have an initial sale yet? I'm pretty sure everything has had some sort of push already, considering, yeah, most commons have already had a movement. Well, congratulations on your day one for Infinite Forbidden. We are within the general realm of what we were expecting this set to unfold and what we expected to see, but interesting to say the least. All right, some uh, little interesting side quest, as we're going to call them here. Uh, if you didn't watch yesterday's Market Watch with the expected tech choices that we're expecting to see get blown out over the weekend here, I think you should check that out. There are going to be a lot of things from there that you're going to want to keep an eye on just for what people are expecting. Um, side, side quest cards here, Evermax being a uh, $6 card now is kind of interesting. I like this. Um, if you wanted a QCR of this, I mean, still relatively easy to get, nothing too expensive. I think that's fine. Um, Labyrinth cards, wow, 137 still for the Lady Labs. Your uh, Welcomes, 109s. Arius is 71s now. 57s on the Arianas, 69s on the Lady Labs. Uh, Lovelies, 50 bucks. Oh, the Mighty have changed. Big Welcomes are under 20s now. That's a freaking hilarious thing. Arias's are 17s, $13 for the field spell. Ariana is a $12 CR. You know, I can't say that I'm not surprised to see that. Uh, Goblin Biker stuff, Grand Entrance, nice $24 card. I also love the $10 Grand Bash. Meanwhile, you got $3 Seek Rare Grand Entrances, sneak peek versions, uh, 50 cents more. Uh, basically, if you wanted to have these, um, just a little interesting goblin biker things, you know, kind of keep an eye on. Maybe, maybe they'll do something eventually. Uh, we've been monitoring a majority of the interesting blue eyes things that have been happening. I mean, we, we've seen everything that you, you kind of were expecting to see out here, I feel like. But for now, 20 on up to 24 on up to 25 for this. Uh, I am happy to see that this card is gaining value. It is kind of nice to see, you know, more of a reflection of RCO2 actually having value. And especially, you know, for the Blue Eyes collectors out here, you have 12 listings for this. Um, you know, RCO2 was an absolute train wreck, but I, I think that this is a good thing to be seeing. Blazing Cartesia. 18 listings, by the way. 242 70 and uh, 240 Nice $150 damaged copy. I, I always wonder how these things happen. You got a nice 220 or here, and then you're basically at 230 Yeah, I expected this. Swap Frogs. Just kind of still keeping an eye on this. We're still uh, on your buyout status for this. 12 listings. 135 130 117 Still 160 Nothing has changed with this card. Poor little guy. Maybe someday, Swap Frog. Ultras are still 9 10 bucks, And even the commons are up. That's freaking hilarious. Memento cards, still 60s. Still 65s. Uh, combined Creations finally heading on up to about $50. Should have bought these when they were 30s. Bone Party still holding it. The $24 mark. Field Spell, nice $24 CR. <laughs> you gotta love your bling. Still $20 for a CR Combined Creation. And of course, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's the deck, honestly in terms of the, the mid-max rarity stuff. And then uh, just a little point out back here, you know, the gimmick puppet hype train has continued to go. We've had a lot of interesting movements, but you're still looking at about, you're almost at the $3 mark, almost with shipping, for a common, by the way, from iGas. But, I mean, this card does effectively do everything that you want it to do for the deck. And, yeah, honestly, like I said, um, you do have the line here at dollar fifty with a dollar twenty stuff, so you're basically almost at the $3 mark. Well, cool. What a market watch. So what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.